Hello, welcome to my channel. It's a tailored life. My name is Taylor and in today's video I'm going to be showing you all my bedside nursery. So I'm a mom of two. My oldest son is five years old and when he was born I did it super big. I got a nursery. I decorated it. I did everything and I was like he's gonna sleep in his room as soon as he comes home from the hospital and no. <laughs> that's not what happened he I actually ended up getting a bedside bassinet and he slept in my room for about the first year um because I wasn't really prepared I ended up buying a lot of things after I had him so when I was pregnant with my second son I did not bother with a nursery at all I actually planned on doing a bedside uh nursery if you hear him um he's right here <laughs> if you're new to my channel he's usually in almost every video that i film so he may end up being in this video but he is sitting right here while i'm taping this so first before i get into giving you guys a tour i just wanted to show you some of these items that i would keep on my bed this is a daca top when he was younger he can actually still use this now and he's pretty big i just would um unbuckle the bottom but when he was younger um in the first few weeks like this was very convenient very easy as he got a little bit older like within the three month age he kind of liked being held a lot while he slept this gave him the feeling of being held which was very very convenient for getting a little bit of sleep um i know co-sleeping is not um something that is should be done um but i know sometimes as moms we get really tired and sometimes it can happen this just made me have a little bit feel a little bit more safe if i did fall asleep in the bed while he was napping he was in this and it just felt a little more safe for me than to have him just laying on the bed next to me but i definitely want to show you all the daca tie i love my daca tie i still love my daca tie it was a gift i was unsure about it because it is a little pricey but i definitely think it is worth the price the other item i wanted to show you all was this uh chair pillow i breastfeed but even if you don't breastfeed those middle of the night feedings can be really hard especially when you're tired those first few weeks when they're up every two to three hours this really helped me a lot because sometimes when I wake up at 2 a.m. I would be so tired and I'd be like you know how am I gonna stay awake and instead of like leaning back on my pillow I would just sit up and kind of prop myself up on this this just helped me sit up and wake up a little bit more to stay up for those feedings so this is definitely a must-have whether you have a bedside best um, a bedside nursery or not definitely want to have one of these also so with my second son i did have a v-back but with my first son i had a c-section this was very convenient i did not have this when i first came home because of course um i had an emergency c-section it wasn't planned or scheduled so this just um makes getting in and out of bed sometimes with the c-section a little bit easier and just relaxing you know going up and down with the c-section is not um the most comfortable so this would definitely be a big help so now i'm going to show you guys what i actually keep next to my bed okay so now we are on my side of the bed this is a bedside um crib it's from chico i love this crib so I have it backwards right now because I'm not currently using this. My son is now eight months old and he is too big for this. He can actually sit up so this is not safe. It does not have enough height for a baby that can sit up. So once your baby begins to sit up, you may need something different. But in those first few weeks, those first few months, this is definitely like the best thing to have. I'm going to show you why I like this crib so much. So this crib does have the side that you can kind of push down which is really convenient when you're up in bed oh it's also adjustable i have it this tall because my bed is this tall if your bed is lower you can lower it if your bed is higher you can raise it up but it does have this push down which i really like because when you're in bed and you're reaching over to grab baby it makes it a lot easier and a lot more comfortable to push on 
But what I also loved about it was sometimes, especially when they're newborns and they don't really wiggle a lot, you can actually put this all the way down. So picking baby up is very convenient. If you have a C-section, I definitely 100% recommend this because leaning over to pick up your baby with the C-section is not very comfortable. This makes doing that a lot easier and you can just go ahead and pop them right back up for safety, which is very, very, very convenient. One of the other things I like is that this has a vibrator on it. Um, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but the bed is actually vibrating. My son actually liked this. Whenever I would put him down and sometimes he would get a little bit fussy, to buy myself a little bit more time, I would put this on vibrator mode. It also has a light on it. It looks very dim right now because um, the lights are on, but at nighttime for breastfeeding and things like that, or just changing the baby's diaper, this is very convenient to not have to turn on a light and wake everyone up. It does play music, but I rarely ever used it for music, but this is definitely a bedside nursery must have. In those first few weeks where you and baby really aren't leaving bed much, you definitely need this. Now that my son is eight months old, I actually have a mini crib in my bed, a, um, in my bedroom. I can actually roll this crib around. I love this. I can bring it near my bedside if I need to. But now that he's a little bit older, I do have a little bit more space. This helps me and him to sleep better at night. He's not um, waking up by any movement that I'm doing or I'm not waking up by every single movement that he makes. But he's also close enough that I am comfortable and I do get some really good sleep at night. Um, I also love this mini crib because if I'm doing something on the other side of the house, it's very convenient. It rolls to wherever I need it to go. Just super convenient. Very, and it's not the size of a regular crib. I will say that a mini crib and a regular crib have very different sizes. So if you do get a mini crib, make sure you get the correct size mattress. It's very important and the correct size sheets to go with it. But mini crib is a definite must have. You could even, if you don't want to do the bedside crib from Chico or any other brand, a mini crib is great from the beginning. They can still easily fit on the side of your bed, just as long as you don't mind reaching. Like if you know for sure you're probably not gonna have a C-section, which I know you can't really know for sure. But if you know you're not having a C-section, um, this is very easy, like you can reach over with no problem to pick up your baby, but this is very convenient and very affordable. Okay, so now I'm going to show you all where I keep all of my baby's things. So this is my bedroom door that I'm standing in front of. I have, like I said, a five-year-old son. I keep my bedroom door open at all times. I don't really close my bedroom door, maybe unless if we have guests over and I'm um, have to change or something but it's very rare that I close my bedroom door so to use a space for storage that keeps my bedroom looking aesthetically pleasing um, and not too overloaded with baby items I keep all of his items behind the store okay so this is behind the door so what I have here is just two little um, this is like a storage bin with drawers and then down here is also a drawer space. This is something that I purchased on Amazon. I'm gonna give you guys a full look of it. But in each drawer, I do have different baby items. I have like receiving blankets here. I have thicker blankets up here. My son was born in January, so it was kind of cold outside. So I do have quite a few thick blankets. Um, I keep towels and washcloths, burp cloths, uh, bibs, all here and in these drawers below are where I keep his clothes um, anything extra that I may need for him and like I said I store it all behind my door so you will never even know that it's there super convenient just an easy way to keep things like hidden but also make it look very organized and neat and I'm gonna show you guys next what I have on my nightstand. Okay, so this is my nightstand area. And here I have this cute little basket. I picked this up at Target. I have a couple of these throughout the house and I kind of use them all the same way. So in this first area of the basket, I just have a lot of his toiletries, things that I reach for on a regular. I do have wipes, um, I do have Tylenol, and also a syringe to administer the Tylenol. I keep diapers here. Always have diapers and wipes. I keep this stocked with diapers and wipes. 
This is for those late night changes or even in the middle of the day changes if we are just hanging out in the bedroom. And back here, these are my items that I keep for myself. I do have some um, lactation cookies here for if I need a late night snack. You know, when you breastfeed, you are constantly snacking. Um, I have some pens and highlighters. I have some of my current reading items and Bible journaling items here. These are things that sometimes in the middle of the night when I wake up for a feeding, if I'm really tired and I just need something to kind of help me stay up, I definitely will reach for one of my books. This is the book that I'm currently reading right now. And I also have a um, Bible study journal and a prayer journal here. And I do keep my Bible here on my nightstand. So I usually like to do a lot of nighttime reading before bed, but these are great items to have if you are a reader or if you're a gamer, if you are on your iPad a lot, I would suggest whatever you need to help you stay up at night. Oh, and I normally would also keep a bottle of water in here. Definitely need water if you are a breastfeeding mom. You know that's something that we're constantly reaching for. But this is just a good... Um, little organizer to keep on your nightstand to keep your items organized and to have everything on hand in the middle of the night see the camera all right so that is everything that i keep in my bedroom for my bedside nursery it pretty much covers everything that i need the uh bedside crib that i use for him to sleep in while he was younger I actually keep that in my bedroom because I use that as a changing table currently I know um, a lot of people they I do have a changing pad in my bedroom but I just prefer to change him on a crib um, on a changing table I have a little boy if you know little boys they go all the time when you're changing their diapers so I try not to change him on my bed or in the crib that he sleeps in a lot because it could definitely turn into changing the sheets um, unexpectedly but that is I feel like that covers everything that you'll need for your bedside nursery if you need any storage ideas or organizing ideas let me know down below I'll be more than happy to help you I hope this video was helpful I hope you enjoyed it um, Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. I am going to feed Lincoln. He sees um, like a bird or a, yeah, it's a bird outside the window. So he's like super distracted right now. But thank you for watching and I will talk to you all next time. Bye.